much for the ones that came before and nearly died for me. Recognition. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Rush at Fly City. Rushy has been in this game for a long, long time. He's got his own rope business. He's built this amazing HQ and you should definitely check him out, check out his channel. He's particularly good at boxer style skipping and I know a lot of you guys are always asking me for tutorials and tips on how to skip like a boxer. There's certain little things that I do and I can, I've can i incorporated into my routines, but nothing like Rush. They're too kind. He is going to be teaching me squat jumps, how to do them properly. You've just seen me do what I can. They're good. You don't think they're bad. They're good. They need a bit of work. So Rush is going to give me all the tips, which will help hopefully help you guys as well. Um, and yeah. Let's say you could do your squat jumps really nicely. And what we're going to try and get you to do now is we're going to try and get your form and your body positions nicer. But when you get into it, That was this an unfortunate so retreat there, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you into some good body positions where it looks yeah. comfortable, and then also we'll throw in the little combination to get you in and out of the move. I feel like, I, whenever I've tried this skill before, that my, oh, I'm not doing doubles, am I yet? That's, that's what's coming up, yeah. I feel like a couple of things. I feel like my knees cave a bit. I don't think I'm in right, the right position. Yeah. I feel like I'm always worried I'm getting too much drag on the ground because one thing that when you jump rope normally, you always try and make sure there's not too much slack hitting the ground. Of course. With this move, you're naturally going to always have the rope hitting a lot of the ground. So you already use quite a cool, shorter length. So naturally for me, when I'm using this or doing this move, I'll actually have to come down a bit shorter. Yeah. But what you tend to do is you tend to bring, you feel like your hand's coming quite close yeah. to your face. You sort of want to have the feeling like it's coming a little bit more across your body. It should look like this rather than a... Yeah, that's, that's the move that That's the move that you, we need to try to look okay. even better. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. That's yeah. Better. That's better because then you've the got more speed. For this move, you want to feel like your knees go like 11 o'clock, yeah. 1 o'clock. And it's important to note because one thing, if you're someone who squats in the gym, obviously you squat with flat feet. When you do this skill, you still, with a rope, you still stay on your, yeah. of your feet. Yeah. So you don't flatten your feet. Even Let's say you're going into the move, you almost want to drop down and feel like your heels are higher, as yeah. in going towards the ceiling. You kind of, kind of get into this position here where your knees are too straight. Yeah. Then you get off balance. So you want to go down. As soon as you go down into this move, you want to feel like the legs go away from you. Yeah. 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 See ya. <laughs> I, would, I would actually even say jump, a, jump a little bit later. Okay. A little bit later. Okay. So you get even more speed. Yeah. And then you have more balance as I well. I see, so I'm jumping almost too high. Tiny bit too early. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And then your knees, so your knees are still straight. So if you take it without the rope and you go down, you're more straight. Yeah. You want to feel a tiny bit away from you. So, so it's like a sumo squat. When legs come out, you see how your knees yeah. come out there? That's the position you want for this move so as well. Be after you're going to be more there. But it doesn't need to be, you don't need to jump, dip down that low, but you don't want to be straight. You don't want your knees going over your toes. I'll show you on my side, you'll see how straight the knees are. Let's say you're going into the move now. You want the legs to go out a bit. You see how they come out a bit? I think I'm going too low. You go a bit low, yeah. Right. You've got good flexibility, so when yeah, you go it's low, like it's. Yeah, for this, yeah, if you go too far low, then get yourself up or get you off. Yeah. It'll start to look messy. You kind of want to get to like that sweet spot where it's like down, jump, down, jump. Is that better? A bit better. Does it feel a bit more comfortable? <laughs> it's more comfortable, yeah. Yeah. I would recommend anyone watching, they don't want to do something that's uncomfortable. No. Because they'll probably end up getting injured. The much closer arms like here, so not doing the Texans or, or yeah. that, that move. So closer hands. And then when you do the move, get the timing on your on your feet like a little bit later. Yeah. And you're gonna jump, cross over, and then come to a side swing. I'll take it slowly. So it's here, here, then it's jump, cross, and then side swing. I'll probably need to go quicker to do it to be sure. And then to a side swing. Back into yeah, me. Yeah. I just practiced doing double under first, the normal one. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the hands close. Yeah. That's here. I'm going to see that again. <laughs> this is a tough move, man. And you're, so your back, you sit, if you tilt too far forward, then you're going to be I need to look up, I'm looking at the ground. So yeah. Yeah, that's it. Nice. But I need to do swing. That was sick. Don't leave me hanging this time. <laughs> 
So now this is just the final move here. So it's just here, straight back. Yeah. yeah, this one you should be able to do. There you go. <laughs> you did it. You did it. You got one more in the tank. Maybe. I wonder if I should do a cross. You could change it how you want, right? So once you do the, once you do the, once you jump, jump and then cross. From this position, you're here now. You're going to land it back into a squat. Then you can choose if you want to go left yeah. or right. This looks good, though. There you go. There you did it. You just have to get that done. Should we show you the last variation on how to get into the move? Now, if you want to get into the move, you can go from a running cross or like a running crossovers or run. And what you're going to try and do is you're going to go cross, cross, and then down. Yeah. So that's how hopefully you can get this done. That's kind of like a good way of entering the move. Cross open on the double or So you're crossing over running? Yeah. Cross, cross, and then you go into the side swing. It's a cross, cross, then open, watch. Here. I'm like literally trying to look at this. Cross, cross, open. Oh yeah, okay, got ya. These combos are hard. They're just different, aren't they? Because yeah. every combo is individual to you, yeah. isn't it? No, of course. My usual combos are hard to other people, but I do similar things yeah. all the time, so it's like, it's going to be like cross. Like yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. Okay. So you just let your let your body drop because once you yeah. open, you're already coming to the side of you. Yeah. Oh, smack on the butt! I'm like the build up is like. <laughs> <laughs> so you're almost you're almost taking off. You've got to take off with one leg. Yeah, watch my leg here. So let's say you're going running crossover, cross, cross. You see? Okay. So you take off with one leg and then drop them both down. Yes, yes. So I'll just probably peek the whole microphone there, <laughs> sorry. Oh, that was sick. Nice. I got that. that was sick and it was clean. Yeah, it's a bit slow at the start. I mean, I need to go in with more gusto. There we go. You're very fast there now. I just want to do it one more time. I'm like addicted. <laughs> I mean, that's another way you could do it as well. There you go. Actually looks smooth. We might have to get this on Instagram. I'm doing it one more time because I'm determined to keep it going and not mess up. Should we do it after the same beat? Oh yeah. So five crossovers and we do it. Let's be good if we could do this first time. Let's be good if we could do this first time. All right, so you count down, then I'll try and match you with the crossovers. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I thought you were going to count me down three, two, one, then we're going to do the crossovers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got too much to think about. All right, let's try and nail this. Go. I think I'm off time. Let's start again. I was not on time there. Alice is gonna have a fun time editing this. Okay, three, two, one, go. One, two, oh, three. <laughs> I was trying to go fast. How fast do you wanna go? Am I going too fast? We can go faster. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh that was a shame. Three, two, one, one, oh, two. Oh, sorry. Did that mess you up? There's a leg in it. Yeah. You started on your wrong leg in it. Yeah. It happens to me every time I do it with people. Three, two, one, one. Oh, you're off time. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Do you just want to start doing your crossovers and I'll catch up with you and then yeah, we count? Okay. Let's get in oh, sync. Yeah. yeah, you count the crossovers. Yeah, down. yeah. Let's get in sync with the crossovers. Uh, you start, I'll catch up. Okay. Five, four, two, one. You went early. <laughs> I didn't go to one. <laughs> One. Oh, God, I'm on one again. Sorry. Oh. Two, one. Oh, no. <laughs> I, you know what? I can't do the countdown. Sorry, I think you had it. Come on, Lauren. We got this. Okay. okay. This is here. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Forget this, man. This is getting hot. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. I think this is the one. I've got a good feeling. Back. Coming home. Oh, I messed up that time. No. No. The one. <laughs> all right, all right. We got this now. Five, four, three, two, one. I messed up again. I just broke my rope. <laughs> you know, man. I wonder what happened there. Rope has left the chat. Knees have left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Shoes have left the chat. <laughs> Five, four. Three, two, one. Oh, I was like, come down with me, come down with me. I was like, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. 
was <laughs> Alright, last one now, I promise you. Otherwise, I'm, I'm out of here. It was messy. I don't know what happened there. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever tried to synchronize with anyone in my life. Oh, it's annoying. No, I need to do it again. <laughs> I'm actually not even joking. Are you serious? I think I Let can me see do that. The perfectionists out here. No? No, that's all right. Romeo, done. <laughs> you're really good. Thank you. No, no you're really good. No. Thank you. <laughs> you taught me a lot today. All right, guys, thanks for watching that. Thanks for staying right to the very end. <laughs> that was really good. I love that. You've done well. I actually, you know what? I nearly left you hanging. So I feel like I've got a new passion for oh. that sort of jumping there. I think it suits you really I'm well. Gonna I'm gonna try and move it over a little bit to the light side. Yeah. So, to watch this space, because there'll be more moves like that coming. Make sure, if you enjoyed that, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If you want ropes, I've got ropes. <laughs> I've got PVC beaded, all my mats. You can check them out on the link in the description. Don't forget to download my app as well, Fancy Feet. You can try it for free for seven days, so why not? You can learn all the skills you see me do in my videos. And that's a wrap, isn't it? Smashed it. Go download Fancy Feet. We'll help you out. I can't have a lot of I'm gonna get the money, then I'm coming home. Recognition, I'm on a mission. Yeah.